This book is being read with permission from HarperCollins Publishers. Hello, my lovable reading friends. It's Ani. Thank you for coming to read with me. Are you ready for a story? Do you ever write in a journal or diary? Today we'll meet a little invertebrate who likes to chronicle all his adventures in his journal. Let's find out all about his life as we read Diary of a Worm. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Like and subscribe to Annie's house. Diary of a Worm, written by Doreen Cronin, illustrated by Harry Bliss. March twentieth. Mom says there are three things I should always remember. Number one, the Earth gives us everything we need. That's me. Number two. When we dig tunnels, we help take care of the earth. Must make tunnel help earth breathe. Number three, never bother Daddy when he's eating the newspaper. Champ. March twenty ninth. Today I tried to teach Spider how to dig. Huh? First, all of his legs got stuck. I think I've twisted one of my ankles. Then he swallowed a bunch of dirt. <coughs> <sighs> I give up. Tomorrow he's going to teach me how to walk upside down. March thirtieth. Worms cannot walk upside down. Ah! April fourth. Fishing season started today. We all dug deeper. Did you guys hear something? <laughs> April tenth. It rained all night and the ground was soaked. We spent the entire day on the sidewalk. Hopscotch is a very dangerous game. Ah! April fifteenth. I forgot my lunch today. I got so hungry that I ate my homework. My teacher made me write, "I will not eat my homework ten times." When I was finished, I ate that too. April twentieth. I snuck up on some kids in the park today. They didn't hear me coming. <laughs> I wiggled up right between them, and they screamed. <laughs> I love when they do that. May first, Grandpa taught us that good manners are very important. So today I said good morning to the first ant I saw. Good morning. There were six hundred more of them in line. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Nice to see you. Howdy. Good morning. I stood there all day. May eighth. Had the worst nightmare last night. Giant birds playing hopscotch. Mom says I have to stop eating so much garbage right before I go to bed. May fifteenth, I got into a fight with Spider today. He told me you need legs to be cool. Then he ran. I couldn't keep up. Maybe he's right. May sixteenth, I made Spider laugh so hard he fell right out of his tree. Who needs legs? May twenty eighth. Last night I went to the school dance. You put your head in, you put your head out. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That's all we could do. June fifth, 
Today we made macaroni necklaces in art class. I brought mine home and we ate it for dinner. Mmm, you're very talented. June 15th. My older sister thinks she's so pretty. I told her that no matter how much time she spends looking in the mirror, her face will always look just like her rear end. Spider thought that was really funny. <laughs> Mom did not. And furthermore, if you think you can talk to your sister like that, you've got another thing coming, mister. I think she is the prettiest one. July 4th. When I grow up, I want to be a Secret Service agent. Spider says I will have to be very careful because the president might step on me by mistake. It's a dangerous job, I told him, but someone's got to do it. July 28th. Three things I don't like about being a worm. Number one, I can't chew gum. Number two, I can't have a dog. Can we keep him, Mom? Ah! Number three, all that homework. <gasps> July 29th, three good things about being a worm. Number one, I never have to go to the dentist. Hmm, no cavities. No teeth, either. Number two. I never get in trouble for tracking mud through the house. Number three. I never have to take a bath. Who's my grubby little boy? August 1st. It's not always easy being a worm. We're very small, and sometimes people forget that we're even here. But, like Mom always says, the Earth never forgets we're here. Who knew a worm's life was so full of adventure? I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.